damage and can lock down the ledge. Not a lot of characters can say they can effectively keep Joker like at the ledge or off stage. But on the flip side of things, Joker can have a field day with comboing this yeah, character. For real. Even just hitting her in neutral, neutral, like, damn, man, this is a feel good matchup for Joker. I thought just start off, yeah, Jack Jack just getting in there. Jack known to be a pretty aggressive Peach. Not not as campy as we see for from a lot of other Peaches in Tri-State. My man will push his advantage as far as he can. You're the former Captain Falcon. You it's, know he's only used to redlining when it comes to making those contacts. Yeah, Jack, Jack, specifically Jack has told me when we've uh, we played friendlies before is that he his goal is to make the other player feel awful and make them feel like they don't know how to play the game at all by uh, just zoning in on their bad habits and pressing on them super duper hard. That being said though, as far as bad habits go, Mr. Mr. Wish 7 s does not have a lot of bad ones. Uh, it takes a lot to really squeeze those, like, those ill patterns from him. So we're looking pretty even. Didn't get too murked by Arsene, which is pretty good. Squeezing that last little dash attack right there. Jack's still in it though. I like how careful he was on, on the and how patient he was on the ledge right there. That being said, Wish is not giving up any space whatsoever. There's no reason to commit to all of that negative space when you don't know if you can for certain get the kill, but Trump to Bear is going to net the first one for Wishes. You know, we really don't see a lot of that in Tri-State. No, we don't. Trump to Bear? From really anyone. Yeah, no. I've like only seen it from Mr. E occasionally. Ralphie does it. Uh, and Wishes Tweak. does it a fair amount. Yeah, Tweak too. It's, it's pretty situational in this game. There's not a lot of characters that have uh, good aerials that set up off of Ledge Trump. There's a few. There's a ver very key few, and most of them are on the higher side of the uh, the spectrum when it comes to characters in this game. Checking like, him right there. Alright, good call out. I don't, know, I don't know if that was... That wasn't the sweet spot, though, but... Jack has to be careful when he's doing these Peach Bombers because he just gave up a lot of stage control. Though, getting right back in that, though, with the forward air right there. Alright. Ooh, yeah, see, Fonte. these two are friends, so they're gonna be doing a lot of that garbage to each other. They, at least Jack. Jack Jack is out for blood. Like friends they may be, this is deep in bracket, man. Jesus Christ. These pickups on all these missed techs have been immaculate by Jack. Don't make mistakes, Nick. Absolutely not. These uh, Justin has been falling for these uh ledge hop fares a lot. Jack has been kind of doing it a lot. He finally catches onto it though and is managing to threaten some space. One option that I'm waiting to see come out from Wishes, um, when Peach rises with her Parasol, Joker can just run in and catch her card. Yeah, good wait. And, well, okay, we're looking cool. <laughs> we're gonna get slapped for it, but we're looking cool. These guys are jerks. <laughs> you know the bully in the after school special? No, they're trying to bully each other the entire time. This is just an arms race. Who can out bully? Every stream these Who's two catching have the first swirly? <laughs> Every stream these two have together is who can bully each other harder. Like that's that's the dynamic. Bleh, the dy can't even speak today. The dynamic. Dynamics. There we go. The dynamic we're gonna be seeing from these two players. All right, though, Bobby Schmurde, that uh, that turn up right up in the air, real quick. <laughs> I like it though. It, with how slowly it moves, it's a good check for space right there. God. Oh, that's it. Uh, nah. That's what I would say. Yeah, no. Battlefield is fairly uh, generous to the angles that it gives to grappling though. It's not the best out of the legal stages, but it's pretty good. Ooh, no! Missed opportunity from both players there. And now this is getting scary for Jack. Jack needs to treat Peach like, like the most delicate flower. Yeah, he really can't encroach. He really can't get a little too overzealous. He's got to wait out at a mid-range to just wait for that Arsene to disappear. And wait for uh, Wish to overcommit. There, he's gotten in, though. He's got to make it disappear. Ooh, he got what it caught over there. That would have been it. You know, he's not very aggressive running. There. He's not also letting wishes get the tetra card at all. Wow, just checking the roll there. It's so even. Yeah, these two know each other very, very well. Oh, Cross up. Is he just gonna go deep for it? Ooh, yeah, catch him with that back air. That is gonna be it for the game. Very, very close game. It was a very bloody game one, yeah, too. Yeah. These two are going to murk each other this entire set. This this is intense. Nice. I agree, Joker. That was pretty nice. That was. Yeah. Was that Joker or was that another character? 
Uh, the quote at the end is usually Joker. The peanut gallery. Phantom Thieves. Peanut gallery is pretty <laughs> They're definitely the peanut gallery. I always got me comments. <laughs> nice. Yeah, I know that was nice. I won, bro. All right. Kill. Morgana's definitely like the cockiest of all. <laughs> what does Morgana just say? Like, not even close or something. No, <laughs> Morgana's one. It's the, the little cat. No, I know, but it, it, it's the little cat talking that good mess that entire time. She's always like... <laughs> <laughs> Are you about to do a full-on impression? I was. <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> no, we don't worry about it, though. Game two. Battlefield. More of the same. I mean, it's a good stage for both of them. It's just, I'm I'm worried that if, if Wishes opts to go for more of the passive play, like, this is a phenomenal stage if you want to get Cappy with Joker. Because he could shark it out. He could push out from center stage. He doesn't struggle to return. Wishes has... has his uh, ledge trapping has been pretty solid this entire time. He's just been so patient waiting for Jack to just overcommit. I do like to see more F-Tilt to poke out. I feel like it's been such a solid option thus far. And the jab, too. Wow, he's just checking every single defensive option Jack's been throwing out. He's, he's not getting away with the spot dodges in the slightest. I like how Jack isn't trying to like go too hard when it comes to returning to the stage. Like he ha really hasn't had a lot of presence on the stage, but anytime that like Wishes makes like a genuine mistake, <laughs> he's able to catch him out. Meanwhile though, she got blown up. Looking cool. I, I agree. That was, was pretty cool. Wishes also at the magical magical percent where oh! many things can happen. Oh, all right, no funny man. Up. Oh. And now th this is really uh, Wish's opportunity to just keep extending this lead as much as he can. He's really not in any super duper. Now he is after that bear. Yeah, this is a situation to be worried about. My man said, "Give me that. Give me One your thing phone." Of note, Joker can't do much particularly with the uh, the turn up, like. The pool of play when it comes to item play for a Joker, pr fairly shallow. Yeah. My, my man's flashy, but now it doesn't have that excellent, excellent call out right there. And now Wishes is seeing himself very, very well ahead. All right, dude. All right, you're cool. That was cute. You're a cool guy. All right. You're, you're the kid who comes up in school. Everyone wants to say hi to him. You want to be invited to his party. Don't even think about asking him to prom, unless you're a Christian girl. I hate this. <laughs> I really do. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna blame that stock on you. <laughs> Wish is lost that one because of you. Alright. <laughs> Alright. Jack. He's having such a difficulty with the landing. It, it's tough, man. Joke, like, Wishes is just making this a no fly zone for Jack. It's completely different from the pace we saw at the first game where uh, they were kind of just slugging at each other. Now, now Wishes has been starting to adapt a little bit. And, his platform play has also been pretty impressive as well, just using these like landing aerials to encompass space like Nair. That's what I was saying at the beginning of the set. It's a matter of like, how well can you shark out the uh, the platforms? Like Joker does a great job of denying that active space. If Peach isn't able to suppress in the air and she doesn't have a safe landing, you're taking away like such big aspects of the character's play. And Jack isn't having the best of times fighting from the ledge. Oof, I felt that too, Peach. You saw her with a little wink when she did that? No, that was a winch. She was not having it. The patience by Jack to wait the Tetra card out, really, really smart on his part. A lot of Peaches just want to get back to ledge, but my man is using that full excellently to just stall for time. Jack's been playing really smart. It's just that Wishes has just been playing a little smarter. Wishes is also very confident with his movement, too. Like Now we're starting to see the uh, grappling hook cancels. He's, as we say in Tri-State, moving. He's oh, just moving with grace. I think there's a level beyond movement yeah. that he's putting himself around. This is schmelligant right now, bro. I, <laughs> I wouldn't say I that. Don't know about that one. Uh-oh. Got him. See, that was not schmelligant. No. Man was schmelling the, man was schmelling the blast zone there. So that was pretty schmessy. <laughs> Look at that. It up. Wiping his nose like an anime character after taking that game. I'm Wishes. I'm a solid player. Jack going to his next Kendrick song. <laughs> Opting for Black or the Berry on this one. <laughs> Change of setting to Smashville. All right. 
He's got. He's picking the most hateful Kendrick song he can think of right now. Or maybe he's playing some Mad Villain. We don't know. Game three though. Probably going back to Battlefield. No, it's just went Smash. Oh, went Smash. Okay. Did you not watch the video game? No. This is look like Battlefield. I'm sorry. I love how Mabel and Sable turn to each other right as the match is about to start. What better, is happening? You better watch this. <laughs> how did you guys get here? How did Gracie get her car on this platform is what I want to know. Don't think too hard about it. How did she do it? Anyway. Jack switching to default, Peach. Having a little bit better of a start here. Uh, I, I'd like that the lack of space will probably help Jack close on uh, the amount of real estate that Wishes has going on right now. What I want to see out of Jack is I want to see him start to deny some space for Wishes. It's a, it's a job easier said than done. Oof. But, like, <laughs> that was a vibe check, bro. That was a heavy hit. Oh, he's not dead yet, friend. Wings of Rebellion. I feel like Jack keeps on trying to punish Wings of Rebellion at like the worst of times. Waiting for this back air here. I, li I like how he's been using these quick floats to just close the space between him. He knows that he doesn't want Wishes to slip by him at all. And Pe Peach, Peach's aerials are quick and they cover a lot of close space. That was a definitely a full on oxymoron, but uh, bear with me. Damn, he got it. The booty bump. My man, my man went to the club and couldn't take it. He has to step out. <laughs> He's only in high school, man. He doesn't know what, he doesn't know, he doesn't know what to do with all that. <laughs> Yo, Jack, doing a really good job of, like being very particular about where he's standing, forcing which is your approach. Take a, you know how he's been like hovering around in this space, the yeah. space between the ledge and the platform. For, okay, I was gonna say you should probably describe it for the viewers. Yeah, no, no, I'm gonna say that <laughs> one. We're gonna hope for the best. Yeah, between the, the between the platform and the ledge, these two, that's where most of the gameplay has been occurring so far. All right. That's because both of these guys are fighting out that space from below the ledge. Do another taunt. Wow, not getting that. That was the perfect di right there from wishes. Or Jack just waited a little too long to get his follow up. No pick from the ledge. Although, we see this more in this game than we have the previous Oh my oh, good God. snipe, good snipe from Jack. Got him. Um, the jump call outs from the ledge. We're seeing Jack land a lot more forward airs now. And on top of that, in general, denying that airspace from which he's getting his damage up. Oh my what he God. needs. Doesn't have, the, doesn't have the ground to get another rep. Enter the Matrix, Neo. Jack, though, finding his footing. Jack, Jack honestly just needs to keep taking these trades and... and Moving in on wishes a little bit more. He's been doing a great job. Like this, this lead he has right now is fairly comfortable, and there's nothing really Joker can do currently to seal the stock super early. He wants to rack up as much damage as he can before our send comes out because that's when it's gonna. That's when he enters the danger zone. I like the rebels guard, uh, rebels guard call out from wishes, but. Like if he's gonna do it, he has to commit to the spacing for it. I like the I like the grab there by Jack. The thing about Peach's grab though, it has a ludicrously long amount of end lag. It's really good though. My man pulling out the homie. Is he gonna toss him away? Yeah, oh, we, we did not no. want to deal with Mr. Saturn. Rest not in this peace, the homie. I always enjoy seeing the homie pop up. Oh, that was really cool. Catching it with the up air? I've never seen that before. Jack's up airs are clean. He has a really good idea of how he can place it in a position where it's either safe or he can get some sort of connecting hit off. All right, though, we see the loops beginning, however. Okay, good good DI by Jack, or maybe he just fell out. I don't know. I'm, I'm going to give it up to Jack. So he had good DI there. Oh, that's scary. That was the first time we've seen, I think, Wishes uh, Rebels Guard one of those turnips the entire set. Jack Jack has been using these turnips at a pretty close range, so it's kind of hard for Wishes to react. This is where it gets really scary. We might see some highway around here. Ooh, yeah, just going for it. Yep, and that's going to be a very cl close set between both players. But well, on to the next trial. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, see. <laughs> really good stuff right there, though. My wishes. He he just knew his game plan, and off stage it was looking pretty. I feel like Jack was a little too patient sometimes off stage. I feel like he just needed to get to the ledge as fast as possible. There's a really delicate balance to how you want to. I'm not even gonna say camp. It's, it's just tough. like, <laughs> just like occupying space alongside Joker. If you're too close, he's just gonna outbox you. He has great tools, with or without our son, just for fighting in close. Stay out too far, 
now you have to deal with guns, but also you have to deal with if you go into approach, pick the wrong option. Joker's whip punish game is probably where he finds the most damage and finds his easiest path to gaining advantage in the match. Right. So it's not an easy choice what you want to do against a character, especially with Peach, who I feel like has to struggle with the fact that being in the air and a strong combo game are her best aspects that Joker yeah. can take advantage of. He can deny that space. He can take that damage. Because one good Peach bread and butter is Arsene. Yeah. 